Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows 11 operating system is known to be quite resource hungry out the box. And this can be a problem if you are running older hardware or a low budget system. So just a quick video to show you how you can make a few tweaks and adjustments to the OS to try and make it perform better and feel a little bit snappier. And in this video, we're not going to be using registry hacks or tweaks. We're not going to be downloading third party software to optimize and tweak and adjust the operating system. Just a couple of settings that you can adjust if you're an average home user to try and make your Windows 11 operating system perform slightly better. Now, this is in no particular order and is not a comprehensive list. And talking about a comprehensive list, I will leave a video. Um, especially if you're running Windows 10, it's quite in depth. I think it's almost 30 minutes long. I posted back in the day how you can tweak and optimize Windows 10 to speed up the OS. And I'll also leave a playlist um, I have on the channel, Speed Up Windows. You can go check that out if you would be interested. Now, first of all, Windows 11, as you may well know, offers different visual effects to enhance the user interface and your, your user experience, like transparency effects, menus that slide out or fade in and out, and so on. So the problem with this is it often causes older PCs to run a little bit slower and not feel that responsive, because those effects use, use system resources running in the background. So to fix, we need to turn off or select different effects in the operating system. Now to adjust these settings, what I would suggest is just head to your search and type in advanced. And once you've typed in advanced, you'll see view advanced system settings. Click on that. And this is a legacy aspect, the system properties dialog and menu, which is a legacy component of the operating system. So what I would suggest is head to performance click on settings and now you'll see the different visual effects that are applied like fade out menu items after clicking slide open combo boxes so what you can do here is you can adjust for best performance which will basically disable all of these which can make the OS look a little bit bleak but another suggestion I would make is just to select or customize this to your own personal choice and preference, maybe experiment a little bit. And I've found that these different options being enabled and the others turned off or disabled give me the best responsiveness on my um, Windows 11 device. Now, something else is that Windows 11 automatically launches various apps when you turn on your computer. But the problem with this is these apps are running in the background. And they can slow down your system's performance, even if you don't use them. So I would suggest to turn off and disable these apps. So for this one, we're going to head into our settings. If you don't know where settings is, just do a search for settings. Head over to apps startup. And yeah, I would turn off any apps you are not using. Because what they can do, if they are listed in this list, the startup list, they can start up in the background, even if you don't see the app visibly on your desktop. So you can see I've disabled everything I don't want to start up in the background. And I only have five selected. And obviously this will be different for everybody's own personal computing needs. But I would just turn off any startup apps that I'm not using. And that should make a big difference to um, your startup times and your boot times and also the responsiveness of the operating system because those apps not running in the background will be using less memory and the next one would be to keep windows updated by checking for updates on a regular basis because the updates bring bug fixes and performance improvements which in most cases will allow the operating system to run smoother and um, on your actual device but Obviously, I'm kind of saying this tongue-in-cheek because with the rate of Windows 11 24H2 at this stage. Um, but nonetheless, um, Windows updates normally should address and fix any bug fixes and bring performance improvements to the operating system. 
And something else is that Windows 11 allows you to configure multiple power plans that suit your different um, computing needs. So if you are wanting better system performance, especially if your device is plugged in and connected to a power supply all the time, then you can switch to a perf higher performance plan, which is designed to basically get the most performance from your hardware. So for this, once again, we head back to our settings and head to system and click on power and battery. And yeah, you'll see, as in my case, I've got for plugged in, I've got best power efficiency, balanced and best performance. So this laptop of mine is always plugged in for the purpose of this channel so I always have it on best performance and I would suggest that um, just to get the most out of your actual hardware and then the last one just to mention for this video this is not a comprehensive list as I mentioned just a couple of quick settings you can change um, just to try and get a bit more responsiveness out of your older PC running Windows 11 or if you're running it on a low budget machine is to turn off your widgets because Although they offer a quick view and a quick glance of widgets or your news feed, they're always running in the background, which consumes more memory, therefore your PC resources. So if you don't use this feature, I would suggest turning this feature off. And to do this, you just right click on your taskbar, click on taskbar settings, and here you'll see widgets, toggle that off, and that removes it and stops that from actually running in the background. So guys, that's just a couple of settings as mentioned you can try out on your older PC or a low budget PC running Windows 11 to try and increase its performance and just make your user experience feel a little bit more responsive and a little bit snappier. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.